It's 627. Welcome back. The first dog cafe has opened in New York City, which means customers can sip coffee with their canines. As CBS News Laura Podesta reports, this is a growing trend across the country as more restaurants are allowing pets indoors to attract customers. <laughs> At Boris and Horton in New York City, the seats and treats are not just for humans. I have coffee. Colonel has like donuts and biscuits and stuff like that. Co-owner Logan Mickley says she followed strict rules and regulations by the health department to open New York's very first dog-friendly cafe. Are dogs ever allowed in here? Absolutely not. No dogs at the coffee bar. Food is prepared in an area completely separate from the playroom. The setup is similar to other cafes that have opened their doors to pets. Cat cafes originated in Asia and have been popping up across the U.S., including in Utah, Texas, and Virginia. Homeless cats live at the locations and wait to be adopted by visitors. The first cafe for dogs opened in Los Angeles in 2016 with the same concept. Look at me. At Boris and Horton, the policy is BYOD, bring your own dog. But you'll find plenty of people who are here without a pet, just to enjoy the atmosphere. I can meet up with my friends who have dogs, and I can spend time with them, which I really enjoy seeing, especially not having my own dog. I love to pet and cuddle with other dogs. The coffee shop is such a hit, the company plans to expand. We're looking at other locations throughout um, New York, Manhattan, and Brooklyn. For dogs and dog lovers everywhere, that's something to bark about. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. And we'll have more news coming up after this break.